Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for tuning in. I'm Itzia Kimbari. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell. You can also follow me on social media which will be displayed somewhere, somewhere around. Yeah, if you want to see how I achieved this look and how I got my face to look like this, this is my everyday makeup routine. Just keep watching. So the first thing I like to do is moisturize my face and I use my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizing Cream. Just take a little bit. My forehead as well. And of course, I like to use my favorite moisturizer, which is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with the SPF 15. Take a little bit of that as well, just for some sun protection. And rub that a little on my face. And my neck. I like to take my Mario Badescu face spray with green tea and yeah, just spritz that all over my face to wake me up a little bit before I forget. <laughs> I brush up my brows as well with the random spoolie. Once I'm done doing that, I take my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony and an angled brush just to fill in my brows. Reach my side and it's two of us. Look what you've done, I need new covers. You know that I'm looking for some new dollars. When I get small, small attention, don't get scared, baby girl. It ain't new for us. Girl, you on my way, left. You ain't gotta worry what to say next. I won't ever leave you on a great text. Playing for my heart, and girl, you got next. SK make you fly away. Hennessy help you ride away. You can stay if you wanna stay. Once my brows are done, the next step is to conceal my brows and make them look nice and clean. To do that, I like to use two different concealers actually. I use LA Girl Pro Conceal in shade Dark Cocoa and I use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer as well in shade Matte. And I'm just going to go right below my brows for like the shape of my brows. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On my best side, and up on my best side. Yeah. And to blend that out, I'm just gonna use a random blending brush. that is all blended I'm going to take my NARS concealer and I'm just gonna do the same thing over again that I did I'm just gonna apply some concealer right here and I'm going to take some concealer and apply it on my eyelids as well just to even out the tone Shadi got a wish though Get a drinks up and watch it take a low. I'm going to take my blending brush once more and I'm just going to blend that out. Real close, real close. from the crowd, she the one I'm taking home. She the baddest in her postcode. The baddest in her postcode. No, no, no. How's it gonna go? Daytime things all by the patio. No, no, no. And the last thing I'm going to do is just set my brows and set my eyelids as well where I applied concealer just taking my shot buttercup setting powder let's place that on my eyelids i met a girl last night now she on my bedside yeah, yeah. who could ever judge you girl you live in your best life next step is for me to fix my face and basically apply foundation and yeah so to start off i'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa. This is the closest to my shade. And I'm just going to apply that on all my dark spots that I have on my face. Because I have hyperpigmentation. Take a blending brush and blend that out. I usually just do that like around my mouth because that is where I have the most hyperpigmentation. 
for pigmentation and sometimes underneath my eyes as well. I always forget to do this like all the time. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to prime my face using my NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. I don't really have oily skin so I usually just do that in my T-zone and my lines so I don't have small lines as well. This next step, you guys, I tell you, is like my absolute favorite thing to do for full coverage foundation. It's amazing. Take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in medium deep and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. You can use a sponge or you can use a brush, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to use a sponge today. And I'm literally just going to press it into my skin. I know not everyone likes to use the powder before foundation method, but I like it. I feel like it keeps my makeup in place all day. Leave a comment down below if you've ever tried this process or this method and what you think about it, because I think it's pretty cool. Once that is done, I'm just going to take a face brush and I'm just going to dust off the excess on my face. Okay, the next step now is foundation. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the shade 180. I'm just going to put that on my face like that. I know it looks a bit red on camera, but it always blends out perfectly and this is like this has been my favorite foundation for like the past three or two years now. I like it because the coverage is buildable and it stays on the whole day. Shawty got a weird store. Get her drinks up and watch it take a low. She would rather stay low. Whatever. Use my damp beauty blender just to take off the excess on my face and really press it into my skin. The next step I am going to do is highlight and contour my face. The highlight I'm going to be using is, is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is my, like, yeah, my favorite, <laughs> basically. And I'm just going to apply that on the side of my nose and a bit of that underneath my eyes as well. I, uh, I met a girl last night, now she on my bedside. Yeah, yeah. Who could ever judge you? To blend that out, I'm going to be using my damp beauty blender, this side of my beauty blender, the egg side, or like, yeah, the pointy side, and I'm just going to dab. And I'm going to keep dabbing until I feel like it's well blended out. It's the best side, you end up on my best side, yeah, yeah. done the next step is to set my face to set my face I take my Sasha buttercup setting powder my same beauty blender is too damp just like to take like this much and dab it a little bit spread some on the other side as well and just press it down into my skin and on my eyelids as well I just press it down you fly away. Hennessy hope you ride away You can stay if you wanna stay Girl, you ain't even gotta leave today I met a girl last night I just take any dark concealer that I have And a brush And I just Down the bridge of my nose as well My contour brush I just blend it up the best side, you end up on my best side, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. End up on my best side, yeah, yeah, yeah. On my best side. Okay, I just need to dust off the excess setting powder off my face. I'm just going to apply my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deepest all over my face. I'm just going to take a powder brush. I'm literally going to press it in. and I like to press it into my skin as opposed to like rubbing just take it and press it into my skin to 
contour my face. I'm going to take my Sweet Face Contour in Dark 886. This shade right here. Take my contour brush again. The next thing I'm going to do is apply some blush to my face. I'm going to take my blush brush and using my Sleek Blush by 3 palette. From the crowd, she the one I'm taking home. She the baddest in her pose code. And my last step for my face would be to highlight. I would use my what am I using so much sleek stuff today? Use my sleek face foam contour with this one right here. And then this one. Look, she really down for the ride. Old friends steady trying to hate, but it's light. Yeah. Girl look alive. They ain't getting in, they stay out of sight. Yeah. I met a girl. I'm just going to highlight underneath my brows as well. I'm going to take my fan brush, dab over it again. I'm going to be using my Soft Glam palette by Anastasia. I'm going in with Rustic and Set Brush Number. I'm just going to mix those two together. You end up on my best side, yeah, yeah, yeah. to look for new brothers them mother girl them crew lovers you the kind of girl mulberry shade and actually put that into my crease what you done i need new covers you know that i'm looking for some new dollars when i get small small attention don't get scared baby girl it ain't new for us girl you i'm just gonna take way. the same highlighting palette i used by sleek and a little brush that i'm gonna go into this shade and i'm just gonna put that in my tear duct. Right away, you can stay if you wanna stay. Girl, you ain't even gotta leave the day. I'm gonna line my with my Lancome eyeliner. I'm just gonna apply a bit of mascara on my eyes. Tell me what it felt like when you end up on my bedside. I'm gonna put all nighter setting spray. While my face is setting, I'm going to apply my lip gloss or lipstick lip liner. These three are basically my favorite lip combination of like a very long time now. So, first thing, I'm going to line my lips using the LA Girl Lip Liner in Espresso. All the products I used for this look will be in the description box below. I'm going to take this Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade 39. And take my favorite lip gloss of all time, which is now discontinued at Sephora. But yeah, it's the Sephora... I've used this so much, I can't even find the name. It's the Sephora Lip Gloss in the shade 35 Earth and Fire. And I'll be taking my NYC City Proof liner just to line. Whatever she do, you won't ever know. I'ma need her real close. Pick from the crowd, she the one I take her home. She the baddest in her pose code. The baddest in her pose code. Mario Badescu spray on my face again. Oh, feels so good. And yes, guys, that is the end of the video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this. Also, leave a comment down below what products you use and what looks you would like to see as well. Baby girl, it ain't new for us. Girl, you on my way. Left. You ain't gotta worry what to say next. I won't ever leave you on a great text. Playing for my heart and girl, you got next. SK make you fly away. Hennessy help you ride away. You can stay if you wanna stay. Girl, you ain't even gotta leave today. I met a girl last night. Now she on my bedside. Yeah, yeah. Who could ever judge you, girl? You living your best life.